Hi, this is Derek Masiaga with study.com. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through some measurement and geometry sample problems that you may end up finding on the Praxis Elementary Education Math Exam. Let's get started. Question one. The cylinder shown has a radius of three centimeters. How much paint would be required to cover its base? A, 20.26 centimeters squared, B, 24.26 centimeters squared, C, 56.52 centimeters squared, or D, 28.26 centimeters squared. Okay, so it's clear that we have a radius of three. They give us the, um, the diagram for the cylinder as well. And they're asking us how much paint would be required to cover its base. And so the base of the cylinder is basically a circle, right? And so they're basically asking us to find the area of a circle, the formula for that is A equals pi r squared. And so since we have the radius, and since we know that pi is 3.14, uh, we can go ahead and solve for this equation. So the area is going to be, and I'm just going to use 3.14 here, times 3 squared. You do get to use a calculator on this exam, so make sure you're plugging this into your calculator. And we get a correct answer here of 28 0.26 centimeters squared. So the correct answer is option D. Question two. Carlos is baking a pie with a circumference of 56 inches. What is the area of the pie he will bake? Note, use 3.14 for pie rather than the pie key on a calculator. Round the final answer to the nearest inch. Is it A, 83 inches squared? B, 434 inches squared, C, 127 inches squared, or D, 250 inches squared. Okay, so they give us their circumference. The circumference here is 56 inches, and they want to know what is the area of the pi, or in this case, the area of the circle. So we know we're going to be using that area equation again, area equals pi r squared. But they also give us their circumference. That was our given value here. And the equation for circumference is pi times the diameter. So let's just do a quick little uh, recap on kind of the parts of the circle. So when we're talking about the circumference, we're talking about kind of the length of the circle itself. So if I were like, were to start here and travel one complete loop, if I were to measure that distance that you know, if we walk this, that would be my circumference. So kind of like one full loop around is the circumference. When they talk about the diameter, the diameter is if we were to like cut the circle in half. And so from like this point to this point, that represents our diameter. And then our radius, remember the radius is from the center to one of the points on the circle. And so that's just a nice little recap of like kind of the three main parts of the circle here, okay? So since we're given the circumference, we're gonna start with that equation. Circumference equals pi times diameter. So 56 is gonna equal 3.14 times D. We don't know what the diameter is yet. So all we have to do here is divide by the 3.14 on both sides. And so 56 divided by 3.14 is going to give us a diameter of 17.8. Now, we look back at the picture. Remember, the diameter is from basically from one end to the other end if we cut this circle in half. So that's the entire length. But for our area equation, we need the radius. And so... If we were to cut this diameter in half, that would give us, you know, a center point to the end of the circle. So if we cut this in half, if we divide this by two, that's going to give us our radius. And so our radius becomes 8.9. And then now we can use the area of, of a circle equation where the area equals pi r squared. And when I plug that in my calculator, I get 248.7. They tell us to round our final answer to the nearest inch. So we would technically round up to 249 here, but our closest 
is going to be option D, 250 inches squared as the correct answer. Question three, what is 140 pounds in kilograms? A, 63.50 kilograms, B, 308.50 kilograms, C, 68.12 kilograms, D, 110.15 kilograms, or E, 70.30 kilograms. Okay, so this is a, uh, a unit conversion problem, right? They want us to go to pounds to kilograms. And my assumption is on the exam, you're, you might be given the conversion factor, okay? So in this case, one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. That is the conversion factor. And so if I know that I have 140 pounds and I'm trying to convert that to kilograms, I know that for every 2.2 pounds is gonna give me one kilogram. And so all I have to do here is divide my 140 pounds by 2.2, okay? Because that represents one kilogram. So 140 divided by 2.2 gives me um, 63.50. So the correct answer here is option A. Question four, what is the angle of the bottom right angle? A, 90 degrees, B, 0 degrees, C, 40 degrees, or D, 180 degrees. And so they want the angle of the bottom right angle. And so on the diagram here, they're talking about this angle right here. And they're, they're, testing, they're testing your um, ability to use a protractor here. And... We see that the uh, vertex of the angle is already lined up with the protractor correctly. And so we're just going to follow this ray. And we see that it lines up with the 40 degree mark. And that is the, the correct answer for this problem. All right. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, check out our other videos. And then also make your way over to study.com to check out our Praxis test prep courses. As a study.com member, you'll get full access to hundreds of practice problems, like the ones I just walked you through, plus targeted instruction for any topics that you are still struggling with, as well as test strategy to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful, and then let us know down below in the comments if there are any specific topics that you want us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying.